Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Woi Woi Oval for Central Coast Rugby League's Day of Days. You're tuning in to Bar TV's coverage of the Tui's Cup Grand Final. These two juggernauts of Central Coast Rugby League taking on each other again for the fourth time this season. The minor premiers, the Wyong Roos, taking on the defending premiers, the Entrance Tigers. 2019 Grand Final sees a replay of the 2018 decider. The Entrance Tigers winning that one 30 points to 24. The Entrance have 12 players backing up from that game last season. Wyong have seven players out for revenge. I'm Dan McCamley. I'm joined in commentary today by the Woi Woi skipper Chris Hyde. And Chris, the big question is, can the Roos get the revenge that they so desperately seek? Or will the Tigers go back to back? Yeah, mate, that's the big question. Um, you know, it's going to be a tight one, flip a coin, but I think whoever can get forward early, uh, complete their sets. The old cliche, you know, but um, I think Wong have probably got, got a bit too much strike power. But um, you saw what the entrance did last week, 44 zip. was a uh, pretty clinical performance. So, um, yeah, see how we go, eh? Should be in for an absolute ripper here today at Woi Woi Oval. Conditions are picturesque. The Bar TV crew had the opportunity to speak to the two coaches before the game. Let's hear from them now. Shane Wooden, the coach of the Entrance Tigers, has taken a bit of time out for us. Mate, uh, how's the preparation been? Mate, it's been really good. Um, we've had a good week at training. We've um, had some players that you know, picked up a few bumps last week that have worked really hard on their, on their rehab. Um, training's been really, really exciting. It's been fun. Um, we've worked hard on the areas of our game that we needed to, so we feel that's been a good week. Uh, you've been playing all week in the finals. Wyong's had a, a couple of weeks off. Uh, do you think that falls in your favour, Les? Oh, I, I can work both ways, but I actually like to be playing football. I don't like to have too many weeks, too many down weeks at this time of the year. I think, um, if anything, it just sort of makes you battle hardened for that, that, that big day. So I think it's a good thing for us. Back to back, sound good? Sounds very good. Mate, all the best. Thank you. Too easy. Go off. Got the coach from the Wyong Roos, uh, Tony Clark. Uh, big afternoon for the boys. Uh, how's, how's all the preparation been? Yeah, been really good. We've had uh, a couple of weeks. Of course, we've only had you know, one game in five weeks, but we're, we're not too worried about that. We've uh, certainly impl implemented some uh, plans you know, to, to replicate as much as we can of, uh, of game day. So, yeah, he's, he's hoping. Just missed out last year. Minor premiers this year. Uh, everything on top. Yeah, yeah, it is. Of course, as I said, with it, without you know the, the one game in five weeks and, and coming up against a you know a brilliant footy team in the Tigers, and uh, I think they proved that last week. So yeah, we're going to have to go to another level today um, to make sure we go with them. Mate, all the best. Good on you. Thanks very much. There's the two coaches primed for a big one. And they touched on it a couple of times there, Chris. Wong have only played the one game in the last month. Yeah, it's a bit their second game in five weeks. Um, sometimes you know. Sometimes, sometimes it could be a hindrance, but um, I think they might have had a few little niggling injuries, and I think it could help them in the end. They got uh, Luke Sharp. I think he'd be better for the run from last week. But he's um, he's an attacking weapon for them, so I think that'll help them. As we see the Wyong side about to make their way out onto the field, we'll run through the Wyong Roos team for the 2019 Grand Final. At fullback, Josh Mantellato. On the wings, Kai Martin and Christopher Centrone. In the centres, Luke Doble and Zane Rickett. At 5'8", Luke Sharp, and at halfback, Terence Cucu. In the front row, Jake Lewis and Jake O'Mealy. At hooker, Mitchell Williams and captain. In the back row, Tani Mahon and Wyatt Shaw. And locking down the scrum is the 13, Brock Molan. On the interchange bench today for the Wong Roos, Jared Kessler, Dylan Clark, Nathan Clark and Jack Lottie. And they are coached by Anthony Clark. Pretty strong team there, Chris. And as you said, they've had a chance to get those niggling injuries right. Yeah, mate, it's a very strong team. Um, I think there's a big key, the lock, uh, Brock Molan. He really gets them forward. Um, he'll get that quick play of the ball when they're going for a kick. Just those little things you don't really see, those little one percenters. He's, um, he's played high-quality footy for a long time, Brocky. At New South Wales Cup, he's, played, he's probably played about eight years in New South Wales Cup, and he just does those little one percenters right all the time. And having called a fair few of Wong's games this year, you notice he'll probably have a touch or two every set as well, so he's very busy in the middle there. Let's go through the Entrance Tigers team, 2019. Can they go back to back? The defending premiers at fullback Grant Nelson on the wings, Matt Nelson and Perry LeBrock in the centres, Harley Ridge and Sean Corrigan at 5'8, Will Pearsall in the 14 and at halfback, Sione Tonga 
in the front row, Noah Eason and Mitch Achurch at hooker, Matt Killick and captain. In the back row, Jacob McCudden, Jay Florimo, and locking down the scrum is Ryan Doherty. On the interchange bench today for the Tigers, Luke Chant, Matt Fisk, Adam McInnes is a big inclusion in the 19, and Tim Nwangatabu, and they are coached by Shane Wooden. Just touching on Adam McInnes, he's missed the last few weeks through injury. He's a big in for the Tigers. Yeah, he's a massive in. Um, he's fully fit. That's a big one. I don't know if he'll start or not, or he'll come off the bench. We'll see, because I know Tonga, he's, he's very good off the bench. He's a great utility player. He can, um, he can change the game. Both teams getting ready for the national anthem here at Woi Woi Oval. Not too far away from kickoff here. Bar TV's coverage of the 2019 Central Coast Rugby League Grand Final. Big roar of approval there from a packed Woi Woi Oval. Couldn't fit them all in the grandstand. They're behind the post down the southern end as well. Not too far away from kickoff. Matt Killick, Mitch Williams. It's going to be a shootout, I think, in the middle early. Dan, I think, at entrance middle, they've got the, the four big boys. They just keep coming at you. I know from experience, I've our whole team, we saw we played him in that big semi, semi-final, and I think it was just really hard to get up for that next week. We had a few sore and sorry boys for that next whole week. And they just wear you down, those forwards. It's, it's like coming up against two starting front rowers for the full 80 minutes. It's tough sledding out there in the middle. Wyong, in their last two encounters, have managed to weather that storm and then come over the top of them in the end. Let's touch on those throughout the year. Round four, it was the entrance getting up over the Ruse 24-22 at Edsac Oval. And Wyong in round 13 turned the tables with a 32-12 victory up there at Murray Breen. And in the major semi-final, the Wyong Ruse took that one out 34-20 on this very ground two weeks ago. It was super impressive that day. Zane Ricketts scoring a hat-trick. The entrance... Couldn't, you couldn't blame them for being a little bit down after that one. They came out the following week and absolutely thumped the Arena Eagles 44 to nil. That one was over by half time. They were matching the clock at one point. It was 28 nil after 28 minutes, and Arena just unable to get into that ball game whatsoever. So the Tigers come into this one with a little bit of confidence after last week. Wyong come into it well rested. It'll be Josh Manolato to get us underway here at Woi Woi Oval. 2019 Central Coast Rugby League Tui's Cup Grand Final about to get underway here. Mantelato kicks off. The wind's holding it up. Up into the breeze. LeBrock takes it on the full. Perry LeBrock, he'd still be blowing after that 100 metre try last weekend against the Eagles. It's Mitch A. Church with the first real carry up towards the 30. Killick down the short side to Florimo. He's met by O'Mealy. Lewis is in there as well. That's his way up towards the 40, though, Jay Florimo. Already we see Jay not happy with something in the tackle. As A Church again with his second carry of the set. It's good meters there, Dan. Doherty over halfway. up over halfway. Making some nice early meters here. Last tackle comes to Pearsall. 
Good kick pressure from the Roos. Pearsall gets his kick away. It'll bounce. It sits up. Mantelado's underneath it. Grant Nelson takes him immediately. So good first set there for the Tigers. See how entrance is. They can keep him down here. It's, um, it's a good swell and breeze kicking around there. And we saw from that kickoff from Josh Mantelado, it looked like he kicked that one into the breeze. So it'll be the entrance with that advantage in the first half. Wyong looks to work it away from their own end through Jake Lewis. Need to stop Wyong through the middle. You don't want to get those those two centres getting early ball. We've seen what they can do. Zane Rickett scored that hat trick in this major semi. And Dovell, he was leading try scorer in the comp. So you look at the strike they have on those edges. 21 tries this season for Luke Dolbel as CUCU kicks long down to LeBrock. It'll be LeBrock to bring it back into a wall of Ruse defenders. So a good chase there from Wyong. LeBrock will play at 25 away from his own line. Grant Nelson out of dummy half. Pinches 10 metres there. 15 shy of halfway here, the Tigers. Yeah, so Pepper, and, the left. Pepper and Wyong's right edge here. Oh, it's a drop ball. Early mistake here. And the Ruse are happy with that one. It was CUCU and Tani Mahon in on the tackle. And Harley Ridge has put it down. First opportunity of the day goes to the Wyong Roos. Had just over two minutes gone here at Woi Woi Oval. Score is still nil all between the Tigers and the Roos. As you said, plenty of strike here for Wyong on the edges, Chris. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what side they set up for here. Uh, I think they might fancy himself with Zane Rickett again. Give him some early ball and cause some damage that last game. So they might get to that right post. And give him a shot. We see Wyatt Shaw take the first tackle. Five metres inside Tigers territory. Williams out of dummy half. Molan again. You'll hear his name plenty of times today. Williams again. Comes go. to Sharp. Lewis. Lewis on the charge. Good run there from the big man. He's up to the 20. Williams in a dummy half. Goes to Molan. Molan... Taps it on to O'Mealy. So you see you here, he's a danger. They can get him some quick play the balls on the right. They go to Sharp, and Sharp throws the dummy. Pearsall does well to hold on. They're only five away here, the Ruse. Last tackle. Chance here for Wyong. Williams out of dummy half, gets the kick in behind. Nelson fumbles. It's cleaned up by LeBrock, but Wyong forced the drop out. They get the repeat set. You see only Tonga coming across. Saved the day there, Dan, didn't he? Well, it just sat up on Nelson, didn't it? Couldn't get a clean grab at it. Sihani Tonga cleaning up the mess. Wyong threatening early. Pearsall is in no rush to get this back underway. There's the drop out. That'll go 50 and change on the fly. Down to Sharp. Lewis again. Met by three Tigers defenders, Easton, Killick, Doherty in on the tackle. Williams to O'Mealy was awarded the Rookie of the Year at the Central Coast Rugby League Awards this week. Jake O'Mealy. He's your player of the year, Mitchie Williams. Yep, Mitchie looking, Williams. Be looking for those quick play the balls. Terence CC just loves to push off the back of him. Flat oh. ball, and Tane Mahon is hitting an absolute bell ringer. He puts it down. Harley, Harley Ridge. Ridge is letting him know about it too. Great shot there. He read that well, Ridge. Didn't he? It was the long ball from CUCU. He, he's got the seven on his back, but he does tend to get into dummy half. He, he looks a bit more comfortable playing from behind the play the ball, in my opinion. Well, mate, he's played at that you know, NRL level. He's played hooker. I think he would have played over 100 games. The Manly and the Sharks. So he's, um, I played him a few years back in Newcastle and, mate, he's very hard to handle when he gets in there. I think after Mitch Williams goes, he's always right up there, ready for that next play. Very smart footballer. If you're tuning in on Bar TV Sports, make sure you drop us a comment. Let us know who you're cheering for and where you're cheering from. We'll get back to some of those a bit later on as A Church will play it 20 away from his own line. His front row partner, Easton, now on the charge. Takes three to bring him down. Lewis and O'Mealy in there. Hey, Church again. Plenty of touches early for the big man. Seems that Pepper and Wong's right edge. I think that's the right way to go. I think there's a few times they've got a, a lapse out there. I think um, Dobell 
He's um, sometimes he rushes in. They would have seen that, and he's um, they're hoping they can catch him out. Sierney Tonga took that run up towards halfway as Pearsall kicks him behind, finds the grass, but Manolato's well positioned, and he'll bring it back oh, straight at Pearsall. Great Pearsall contact. not backing down from the big fullback. Pearsall again. Centrone. A nice kick from Pearsall, and now back to back tackles for the 5 8. You'll get in there for a third as well. Entrance trying to use that breeze to their advantage as Rickett beats Florimo, can't beat Doherty. Play at 12 shy of halfway. Sharp out of dummy half. Finds Dolble. Dolble will be brought down right on halfway. Last tackle. Goes to CUCU. Florimo with the kick pressure. CUCU gets the kick away. Nelson lets it bounce. Takes a great kick. A nice wild bounce into the in goals. Grant Nelson will be brought down 10 metres away from his own try line and he doesn't look well there, Grant Nelson. So he's got the knock on the knee, has he? Slow to his feet. I want you to keep an eye on that, Chris, as he is not 100% at the moment, Grant Nelson. That would be a big blow for the Tigers. Looks like he's getting a bit of uh, attention to his there. hamstring, which is not a good sign. A lot comes off him in attack. Grant Nelson, he's a very strong runner and he's got great ball skills. His kick returns are something else as well as we look for an early 40-20 and that one just finds touch. Probably 20 metres and 30 centimetres out from the Wyong Roos line. It was a good Pierce. leave in the end, wasn't it? It was. Mantelato wasn't sure. Pearsall just about got his angles right. Just touching on Grant Nelson, the way he returns that ball from the back at speed and shows no fear. He's limping a little bit. He looks to have shaken it off, though. Yeah, they don't want to lose him this early. It'll be a big blow. And when you take a look at their bench, there aren't too many fullbacks, although they do have Adam McInnes on the bench today. It's going to set for set at the moment, aren't they? And neither team, too much. neither team, chancing their arm too much as Williams gets out of dummy half. That's when they're at the most dangerous. Wong, we get those quick play the balls. Williams will go very dangerous with Sharp and likes pushing up with him. Wyatt Shaw bounces off a couple up towards halfway. Williams again to O'Mealy. O'Mealy straight at Easton and A Church. He brought down just inside Tigers territory. A couple of tackles left here for the Ruse. Molan. Killick gets him around the legs. A church over the top. Comes to Sharp. Sharp through the hands to Rickett. It's Rickett early ball. beats his man. Gets it back on the inside to Shaw. It's still the last. Got to get Shaw it away. Takes the line on. Can he get it free? No, he can't. And the set will end there. So disappointing end to the set there for the Ruse. I don't think they'll be too happy with that one. Old Clarky. Probably should have put that one into the corner, I think. I thought Rickett might put a, a foot to ball there, but decided to hold on to it. And now it's the entrance with good starting field position. Florimo plays it, comes to Corrigan. Corrigan brought down there by Williams and Sharp. Pearsall, Tonga. Will surrender. Five metres shy of halfway. He was best on ground for 30 minutes last week. Sione Tonga started the game on fire against the Eagles and then came off with a lower leg injury. So maybe that's why Adam McInnes has come onto the bench today. Doherty wrestled to the ground. 10 metres inside Bruce territory. Last tackle goes to Florimo. Florimo with the kick over the top. He'll sit up nicely for Mantellato. Not sure that... Florimo was the first choice kicker in that set, but it was a decent enough kick from the back rower. Good the, defense entrance, there. the entrance really tightening the screws with their line speed. Centrone running straight into A Church. There's a quick play of the ball, and they get on the front foot here, Wyong. Good meters there. Williams out of dummy half. 20 oh, he hasn't hit that one too well. Goes down to Grant Nelson. Let's see how his hemi is. He looks to be moving around all right. He got ankle tap there by Williams. Big Mitch A. Church is still down 
on the long 40. It's been a big start to the game, A Church. He's had a lot of carries early, hasn't he? Matt Nelson now with what might be his first touch of the day. Doherty shows it out in front and merely comes across and clobbers him. Now it's Easton. Good yards there. Here they go. They might have shot on the left there. Pearsall will go high. Mantelato's underneath it. Corrigan coming through. Oh, Mantelato looked for the offload there. The Centrone decided against it. It's a good set there from the entrance. Got him down in that corner, 10 metres out. That's what you want. Chris Centrone has been shaken up in that tackle. It was Killick over the top. Good shot. Didn't look like there was too much in it. You see the replay here. Oh, maybe, maybe just a head, a head clash. clash. Christopher Centrone down receiving treatment at the moment. Just over 12 minutes gone here. Woi Woi Oval 2019 Central Coast Rugby League Tui's Cup. The two big boys of Central Coast Rugby League Wyong Roos and the Entrance Tigers doing battle for the fourth time this year for all the marbles this time around Centrone's back to his feet so that's a good sign for the winger yeah, he didn't want to lose him early would have really ruined that rotation on the bench I think well, it's so tough with, with the, the new concussion rules and the HIAs especially for the outside backs, if you, you lose an outside back to that, it causes a major reshuffle. As you said, it, it messes with your bench rotation as well. Not often are you carrying a winger or a centre on the bench. It's a good kick. See, see who kicks long and Nelson takes it on the full. He looks to have recovered from that early knock, Grant Nelson. He's moving it right now. And he brings it back just shy of his own 30, so... The entrants are winning the battle for field position, but as of yet, they haven't seen too much of the Wong end of the field. Wong have done very well to get through their sets and get to their kicks. It's a typical Wong performance, just complete your sets early. Grant Time Nelson territory. is still having that hamstring looked at. Comes to Doherty now. He's brought down 35 away from the Wong line. Last tackle comes to Pearsall. Pearsall puts it up. Little kick over the top. And they're just not quite high enough for the chasers to get down there and put Mantellano under any sort of pressure. Centrone with a nice run up over his own 20. Nice quick play of the ball. Comes to Rickett. Florimo came shooting out of the line from the far side. You see who now takes the line on. Pokes his nose through, but Doherty got him around the legs. Williams now at a dummy half. Yards here. Luke Dolble coming in from his centre position. Williams now again puts the kick along the ground. Nelson comes across and picks it up. Trying to keep those kicks low into the wind there. CUCU's put a, a couple of really long kicks in against that breeze. So yeah, hasn't he? Williams shooting out a dummy half that time, getting the kick away. The Tigers now up over their own 40. Five shy of halfway as Killick gets out a dummy half. He pinches 10. Oh. O'Mealy got him, but I think it was Tane Mahon that might have... Stuck an arm out and caught Killick a little bit high. So this will be the first opportunity for the Tigers. Full set of six inside the Wyong half. Wyong have done well so far to limit Tigers' chances. 12 minutes gone here at Woi Woi Oval. Let's see if the entrants have any tricks left in their bag. They produced a few last week against Aaron Up. As A Church with a good strong run on tackle one. That's a great run there. Killick to Easton now. They're inside the 10 here, the Tigers. Can they post first points? Pearsall, Pearsall to the right. Numbers on the right. 
Go back underneath for Doherty to Tonga. Tonga, they've got the numbers. A winger comes in over there. Nice little flick pass from Ridge. Perry LeBrock for the line. LeBrock, can he get it down? He's still going, LeBrock. He's held up. He's held up. The entrance. You go within a whisker of opening the scoring. That was a nice little trick shot down there, down the short side. Was, Adam for numbers was good scramble by Wong. Stop it. It was Kai Martin who came shooting in. He did just enough to halt the play. There's A Church again. He's brought down nine metres away from the Wyong line. Killick comes to Tonga. Tonga to Doherty. Doherty flat to Easton. Easton's wrapped up there by Wyatt Shaw and Brock Molan. Last tackle here for the Tigers. Killick. Pearsall through the hands to Grant Nelson. Oh. He slices through and Grant Nelson will run it around under the black dot. He opens the scoring here on grand final day. The entrance Tigers four lead the Wyong Roos nil with a kick to come and that was a little bit too easy, Chris. Yeah, he just he popped up out of nowhere. He, um, he come from behind it looked like and he just he got that three on two and the centre just stayed out. Ricketts just stayed out. It was a nice little set play. A lovely little ball from Will Pearsall. And Grant Nelson showing no signs of an injured hamstring there. You see the replay. It was Luke Sharp who just couldn't get off the decoy runner. It's a great line from um, Jacob McCudden there. He really helped held Sharp up. Just really opened up that space. Grant Nelson. Scores the opening try for the Tigers on their first real trip down into Wyong territory. Neither team has really had too many opportunities. Wyong with an early repeat set. And this was the entrance's first foray down into Wyong territory as Killick adds the extras. 6 0 the scoreline here at Woi Woi Oval. I think entrance will take a lot out of that first time down there. They um, come up points. Great little set play. And the defending premiers strike first here on grand final day. In earlier games, the ladies' league tag, it was Wyong 10 defeating the entrance four. In the men's opens, it was Wyong 22 defeating King Cumber eight. And in reserve grade, it was the entrance 16 defeating King Cumber eight. So the entrance winning their third reserve grade competition in a row to add the first grade trophy to the cabinet. A Church on the charge. And as you said, Chris, that'll fill them with a lot of confidence, the Tigers, especially after the last couple of outings against Weil. Yeah, definitely. They um, A Church has had a really big start in the game. He's, um, he's probably had six or seven carries where he's really got straight through. Hands and knees, got that quick play the ball. You, you get some going on the front foot there. As we spoke about earlier, it doesn't get any easier for the Wyong defence. Tim Nwangatabu and Matt Fisk waiting in the wings for the Tigers. And they certainly offer a lot of punch off the bench. Yeah, definitely. You think um, you think when the two big boys go off, there's another two big boys coming on. It's got to be um, on your game for 80 minutes, that's for sure. Pearsall kicks him behind. Probably wanted that one to stay in, but ends up finding touch. Around 10 metres out from the Wyong line. Neither team really offering up any opportunities for the other. The entrance with the one mistake early on. I can't remember Wyong making a mistake yet. It's a great set after points. That's what you want to do. You want to get down there end. Especially um, with that wind, you really want to play it down here. And how often do you see it, Chris? You, you always hear players, coaches talk about that set after points and getting through your set and getting to your kick and how often do you see your team go out and make a mistake? Oh, it's huge. It's um, such a momentum changer, you know. After points, if you can get it down there and get a good set of D, this is what the entrance coach, he'll really want them to keep them down their own end here. If they can um, kick from inside their 40, he'll be very happy. Let's quick play the ball there. Williams pinches 10, 12, 15. That's good a, run there from Mitch Williams. That's a great run. Team a out of and earns his team a penalty. Quick tap from Sharp. Yeah, Rest off the mark. Says you can come back. Referees for today's game: Jeff Hardup out in the centre, Connor Hibbert and Brianna Davies, the touch judges, and the in-goal judges Paul Taylor and Deacon Cameron. You got to watch that with Wong when they get that penalty. 
Mitchy Williams and uh, Lukey Sharp, they're always on that quick tap. They're always really pushing up. They, um, you, you see them catch out a lot of teams with that. It's definitely someone they're training for, I think. Wyatt Shaw with the first carry. Chance here for Wyong to hit back. Mitch Williams out of dummy half. Goes to Molan. Molan is brought down by A Church. He's always front his front, Molan. Comes to Williams. Williams to Lewis. Lewis off the right. They get numbers there, the Tigers. Only a couple of metres away here, Wong. They trail six points to nil. Williams in a dummy half. Comes to Sharp. Sharp to see you, see you. The entrants have numbers there. See you, see you. Comes back towards the post. He's come, he's come from the right there. See you, see you. Jumping out the back. Trying to get himself into the game. Sharp out of dummy half. Now goes to Lewis again. Lewis for the line. A great oh, tackle on a, the goal line. What a tackle there. Who was that? Can't quite see. Comes to see you, see you now. A little kick in behind. He'll get the repeat set. Willie Nelson's there. There's plenty of wild jerseys surround him. And they get the next best thing. It was a great tackle on the goal line. Sa saved a certain try, Chris. It didn't at what? Great kick there by CSU. Big in goal, so you've got to use them, I think. He's, um, if they can build some pressure here, they might come up with points. I think it was Noah Easton coming across with a solid contact. He's definitely saved the try there. Saved the day for the entrance Tigers. And Will Pearsall, he'll have his second drop out of the day. Good response here from the Roos after conceding points. Pearsall kicks it down towards Sharp, who will bring it back off the kill. Oh, he nearly went through there, Sharp. Might have slipped up a bit high from McCudden. The fans don't like it. It'll be play on. 15 out there. Jared Kessler for the Wyong Roos. Williams now going across field, taking the line on. Using Jake Lewis as a decoy. Couldn't dummy his way through the line. Molan is on the right. Half. They go that way through CUCU. Mantelado chiming in. Perry LeBrock, great tackle. Come in, read that well. He's been great from all year, Perry LeBrock. CUCU to Molan. Molan oh, flat bro. ball. Great tackle, Kessler. Nearly scored with his second touch. It was McCudden underneath there. They've got Another the numbers, numbers, surely. They go, they put it on the toe. Chase is on. It's been touched by the Tigers, and it'll be a goal line dropout. Kai Martin with a little kick in behind. Great scramble there by the entrance. Thought they might have had him for numbers, but they solved it again. So, um, they're building some pressure here, Wong, but. Sean Cor no, Harley Ridge, sorry. Getting back there to bat that one dead. Wyong asking plenty of questions. It's been some heroic goal line defence from the Tigers. A couple of absolute try savers. That's the reason why they're still in front. Six points to nil. Will Pearsall will have his third drop out of the day. Strikes that one a bit better. It goes down to Sharp again. This time... Sharp dishes it off to Lewis. He'll run straight at Matt Fisk, who's out there in the 18 with the unmistakable haircut. Don't miss him today. It's a great haircut, isn't it, that one? I couldn't pull it off. That's the only reason why I'm bringing it up. It's fantastic. <laughs> As CUCU gets across field. Dolble back on the angle. Backing his way towards the line, Dolble. He knows how to find the strike 21 times this year. Really fancy himself out here on the left, I think, was Rickett. They've got some shape down here towards the left as they come that way through Sharp. Sharp throws the dummy. Another great tackle. That was McCudden again. Mantelado goes to Molan. Molan going across field. Finds Mahon. They've got some space out on the right-hand side. Tane oh, Mahon he's put puts it, it on the deck. Had the numbers there. They had the numbers and the space. Mahon just couldn't get it out to the winger, Kai Martin, who was unmarked. He puts it on the deck, and the pressure valve's released on the Tigers. 6 0 the score line. 12 minutes gone. They've done well there, the Tigers. Three sets in a row. They've, um, they've solved it all. I think it's probably a bit longer than 12 minutes, to be honest, because 
I said 12 minutes about five minutes ago, I reckon. Nevertheless, the Tigers survived that Wyong raid. That's what it was, an absolute raid. The Roos asking plenty of questions of the entrance defence. They must complete here, the entrance. Don't want to give it up here again. Maybe three or four early kick. Get it down there. There's Nwanga Tabu's out there in the 23. Good contact there. The Tigers, two starting front rowers, having a spell. There's Nelson. Matt Nelson up over the 30. Dougherty's netting a good shot. Jared Kessler, Jake Lewis in on the tackle. Fisk now. Scored an absolutely barnstorming try last week against Aaron Errors. Tonga kicks long and finds the grass. Mandelato comes across. He's got support in Martin. He'll bring it back himself, Mandelato. And Killick bounced off him once, came again and brought him down. 22 away from his own line. Martin now, cross field. Wyatt Shaw in the line there. Did well to get out of the way. Centrone. It was a late scratching from the major semi-final, Christopher Centrone. So, takes his place on the wing today. Sharp. Might have been a little bobble there from Sharp in a dummy half. Good yards there. Mullen gets a quick play the ball the way to see you see flat ball. It's great contact. And three in those tackles really and in that ruck. And it was Fisk that came across to finish it off. Last tackle here is see you see you kicks high up into the breeze. Ricketts coming through. Matt Nelson takes it well. Rickett not interested in challenging for the ball there. Just happy to bring Nelson down. Grant Nelson with the run up over the 10 and a penalty goes to the Tigers. It's a relieving one there. Hand Needed on, that one. Hand on the ball by the looks of things. And as you said, the last five or so minutes, well, probably since the Tigers took the lead, it's been all down this end, Chris. Yeah, it has. Um, they've done so well to repel them every time. Well, they won't be happy they haven't got any points yet. They've had a few sets down there. Wangatabu will play it right on halfway. Doherty underneath the Fisk. Fisk is brought down. Short. Williams in on the tackle. No Angatabu. Flat ball. Good shot there. I think that's the 18. Nathan Clark. And an error. Nathan Clark forces the error from Ryan Doherty. Good, good contact there. A little bobble there in the play of the ball. And that Wong off the hook there. The entrance still had a few tackles left in that set. 6 0 the scoreline here at Woi Woi Oval. 26 minutes gone. RTV's live coverage of the Central Coast Rugby League Tui's Cup Grand Final. Dan McCamley and Chris Hyde on commentary. It's been a bit of an arm wrestle to start this one, Chris. Yeah, it has. Um, usually these two teams, it's pretty high scoring games usually. They've both got so much attack in them. Um, it's only 6 0. But um, entrance seem to be solving everything while I'm throwing at them pretty comfortably so far. Clark is brought down inside Tigers territory. CUCU finds Dolble. Dolble. He's caught around the boot laces by Harley Ridge. See you, see you now. He'll kick high. It's not the deepest of kicks. Manolato's underneath it. He takes it on the full, gets the offload oh. away, and Sharp puts it on the deck. Pierce will look to counter attack. Sharp did well to bring him down as Corrigan gets out of dummy half. He pinches 12. Easy Sharp would have taken that. I think his eyes lit up. There's a big hole straight through the middle there. Yeah, just Snatched at it, didn't he, Luke Sharp? Nwangatabu now on the charge. Lovely late offload, and Killick is hit by CUCU. 
Well shut down there by Terence. Comes to McCudden. McCudden's put down 32 away. A few tackles left here for the Tigers. Pearsall. Cross field. Sione Tonga. They had numbers out there on the left, the Tigers. Didn't Tonga they? stepped on the left off the left. Last tackle. Comes to Pearsall. Pearsall with a little kick in behind, looking for the bounce. It's put down by Martin. They've got the result. Got the repeat set. Not the most orthodox way of going about it, but Kai Martin unable to hold on to it. Angels to want to bank himself down here, I think. Build some pressure. If they can come away at points here, it'll be massive. It's Grant Nelson on the chase, forcing the error. few wraps for you Chris in the uh, comments section we'll get back to those after this set comes to Doherty Doherty dummies underneath to Fisk can't find a way through chance here for the Tigers 6-0 they lead it's behind Pearsall and Wyatt Shaw was alert to the danger they lose the best part of 10 meters there on that tackle the Tigers great shot there by Wyatt Shaw you've read that one to see only Tonga out the back to Nelson Corrigan. Matt Nelson gets it back on the inside to Rickett, and all Rickett can do is run it into touch. I thought for a second he was going to throw that one back in field, Zane Rickett. Yeah, I think he, he made the right choice. He did well to hold on to it. They get another set here, the Tigers, but it could have been a bit more than that. Right edge again. Corrigan maybe would have liked that one back if he throws the dummy Centrone was already turned out on his man yeah, he's done well there Centrone to pick that one looked like they were gone for all money you see some shots of the big crowd here at Woi Woi Oval Tigers on the attack 10 metres out Doherty Tonga through the hands to Ridge Ridge with a nice fend but Dolbel's up to the task and they push him into touch do they? Great defence from the Roos. That's great defence there. Shane Wooden will be pulling his hair out on tackle one. The Tigers go across field and go into touch. A chance goes begging for the entrance. Ridge with the fend. Dolble did just enough to get underneath him and then he held him up. The cavalry came across. Yeah, Sione Tonga, Mitch Williams in on the tackle. Great technique there from Dobell to hold him up there. Give the boys a bit of time to come from the inside. How good is this Hyde bloke? Really knows his stuff. Big raps there from Ernest McGillicuddy. That name looks familiar. Oh, mate, you know, you give him a fiver, slip him a fiver. Give a few good comments. That's how you get ahead in this industry. That's exactly it. Bribe. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Ernest. As we see... The Roos now up over their own 40. Comes to Sharp. Sharp to Shaw. Shaw gets away from one. Keeps it alive. Comes to Mantellato. Mantellato tucks it under the arm. Goes up over halfway. Chance here now. Williams out of dummy half. Probing. Goes to Sharp again. Sharp steps off the left a couple of times. And dangerous sharp. You don't want to give him any, any room to move. There's lightning. So last tackle here is Williams. Goes down the short yeah. side. Runs out of room. Turns it back on the inside. Sharp gets a foot to it. Nelson oh. knocks it on. And an unorthodox end of that set produces an error from the Tigers. And Wyong will have a scrum feed 10 metres out, trailing six points to nil. Yeah, sharp did well there. There wasn't much doing. Broke down, but he, he kept playing. He got a toe on it and he's um, for Sierra. And Williams took it down the short side and just ran out of room. Turned it back on the inside. It hit the deck. Sharp put it on the toe. And they get a result. Chance here for the Ruse. Only about five minutes to go until half time. Mahon now beats the first man. Can't beat the second. It was Luke Chant coming across. CC goes to Lottie. Lottie for the line. 
The Wangatabi's there. Jack he's Lottie's got it. over. Jack oh. Lottie's got it down. Out of nowhere, the Roos strike back. Six points to four with a kick to come. And it looked for all money that Jack Lottie was going to be held up. Wow, that's really come out of nowhere, that one. Entrance being sold and everything wrong with thrown, but come out of nowhere. It was great first contact. He just kept pushing. Kept pushing, kept pushing. He got the late spin in and gets it down right next to the right upright. And Jack Lottie, that would be his first touch of the day, I reckon. It's a big collision there. Two big boys going at it. Grant Nelson came in late to try and push him back. It was to no avail. And now Josh Mantellato, who kicks these in his sleep, has the chance to make it six all just before half time. That's yeah, a big buy there for the entrance. They had that um had the attack down here. First tackle went into touch. Wong just had that back-to-back sets and they've made them pay. Yeah, when you think back two minutes ago, we were talking about the entrance maybe doubling their lead. Now Josh Mantelado. I reckon if he tried to, he could backheel this over. Oh, mate, he, he can kick this He bloke. is a good kicker. Backheel, left-footed, blindfolded. There you go. I'd back him in for sure. As we tick down towards half-time. We're about to be all locked up here at Woi Woi Oval. He moves in. Strikes it. And thank God I didn't park there. Six all the score line. Got a game of footy on our hands here, I think. And you've got to be thinking if you're the Wyong Roos, if you can go in at six all at half time, you'd be the happier of the two teams considering that the entrants have a nice little breeze at their back in this first half. Yeah. Kill it to get us underway. It's a very big breeze there too. Swinging around early, but it seems like it's going to um, hold here. Comes to Clark. Clark's met by three Tigers defenders. Plays the ball. It's the 15 Kessler. Kessler will play at 25 away from his own line. Clark again, second touch for the set. Slow to his feet there, Nathan Clark. Comes to Lottie, the try scorer. Good contact there. Look. Go through the hands to CU CU, who takes the line on. Chant got just enough of him along with Nwangatabu. Williams out of dummy half. Good kick pressure there from Chant. Just down to LeBrock, who takes it on the full. And he's. Brought down there by Kessler on tackle one. 15 away from his own line. Grant Nelson in at dummy half. Goes to Corrigan. Corrigan just about gets through. Tony Mahon clinging onto the legs. It's good yards there. And the entrance on a real roll here out of their own end. Tonga goes to Matt Nelson. Nelson will play it just inside his own half. Comes to Doherty. Doherty to Pierce, all who tried to beat Sharp, couldn't beat Shaw. Last tackle here for the Tigers, goes to Tonga. Tonga kicks back towards the post. Mantelato fields it on the bounce and at full steam. Mantelato brings it back to the 30. Good run there from the fullback. It's a great run there, he really read that well. Kicking back towards the post. Doble now. He'll play at 12 metres inside his own territory. A couple of minutes left here in the first half. Not many stoppages to speak of. As Wingatabu with a bit of a strip there. There's that quick tap. A quick tap here from Williams, and Williams is off. He picks up 10, 20, 25 metres off that quick tap. This is the danger now of Wyong. Those quick play the balls. They've got the speed out wide. Sharp with a beautiful cutout pass to Centrone. Nelson comes across. Centrone does well to stay in the field of play. Wyong on the front foot here to finish the half. Sharp out of dummy half. Goes across field, finds Jack Lottie. He'd love a double. 
Gets the oh, arm the free, gets the offload away. Mentalato picks it up. Mentalato with the offload now. Got him for numbers Comes out here on the right. Clark, Sharp. They Ooh, do have the numbers. Mahon holds on to it. Oof. Mahon for the line. He's only a metre away. The entrance scrambling here. Can they hold on? Comes to Sharp. Sharp with a kick in behind. There's a half time. So they picked up oh. by Sharp. Try to Sharp. Luke Sharp scores on half time. An error from Grant Nelson. Luke Sharp, Johnny on the spot. And Wild will go into half time. 10 points to six in front, probably 12. Wow, what a play there. Such a turning point. Sharp, you just know he's just been around the footy the last five minutes. Any little thing, he's just been around it. He really, um, really did well there. Backed up his own kick. You can see here the kick in behind. Nelson fumbles it and it goes straight back to Luke Sharp. He won't score too many easier than that. He's the last bloke you want the ball to land in his hands, I tell you. He's lightning. Showed composure in picking it up. Didn't panic. Picked it up and dove over. Puts Wong in front for the first time today. And as you said, Chris, halftime siren in the background. And Shane Wooden's got a job on his hands now to lift this entrance team for the second half. That's that's soul destroying that right on halftime. Yeah, it's Achilles. He's probably already in the sheds. Probably doesn't even know what's happened. You get a surprise, I think. Might have the old Wayne Bennett halftime speech not known. Exactly. Josh Mantellato from right next to that right upright. It's really put Wong in the box seat there. After the wind in the second half. They just kick early, play territory. It'll be hard to beat. He moves in, flags are up. That's half time here at Woi Woi Oval. Wyong Roos 12 leading the entrance Tigers 6. The entrance opening the scoring to Grant Nelson. Matt Killick one from one for the Roos. Jack Lottie struck back. Made it 6 all. Then Luke Sharp on the stroke of half time. Puts Wyong in front. 12 points to 6. Josh Mantellato 2 from 2. And a really tough hard for first half Chris yeah it's a bit of an arm wrestle wasn't it just back and forth they weren't showing too much but um yeah it's really going to hurt the entrance that one I thought probably the better side in the first half and what they had Wong had a few more chances but didn't really throw a lot at them but um a few little 50-50 chances they really took them didn't they late and a big turning point to the boards the back end of that first half with the entrance going into touch on tackle one from the back of the scrum really opened the door for the ruse they went down the other end forced a repeat set and leveled things up we thought it might have been the entrance doubling their lead yeah it's those little one percent plays isn't it in grand finals uh, well chris and i'll be back here after the halftime break make sure you tune into the second half central coast rugby league 2019 grand final here on bar tv sports
Welcome back here to Woi Woi Oval. 12-6 the scoreline here at halftime. The Wyong Roos scoring right on the bell to take the lead in this grand final. Luke Sharp with a little kick in behind. Grant Nelson unable to clean it up. And Sharp picked it up and dived over right next to the uprights. That was after Jack Lottie had leveled the scores up for the Roos. Matt Nelson, uh, Grant Nelson, sorry, opening the scoring for the Tigers. Both teams are back out there for the second half. Chris Hyde back in commentary. It's going to be an interesting second half here, I think. Final 40 minutes of season 2019. The minor premiers leading the defending premiers as the Tigers get us back underway. Wyong up over their own 20 on tackle one. They'll be hungry, Wyong, after losing those last two grand finals the last two years. Yeah. They went down to the entrance last year, 30-24 to 24 in the season. Before that, 12-4 to Terrigal. Uh, that was a big upset, I think, that one. You see Clark slow to his feet. Comes to Kessler. Kessler backing his way up towards halfway. Play it to Williams. Goes to Shaw. Shaw with some nice footwork. It's up over the 40. Still going White Shaw. Great run there. Carrying the defenders with him. Last tackle here for Wyong. Comes to CUCU. He kicks high. Mantelato on the chase. Nelson's underneath it. He takes it well. That's a good first set to this second half of the ruse. Grant Nelson, I think he's going to have to get, get that one out of his head just before half time. He looks shattered at the time, as he would be, but um, you know he's a quality footballer, and I think we might see a bit from him in this second half. Well, they weren't mucking around the Tigers at half time. They were out a couple of minutes before the ruse. I don't think Coach Wooden would have been too unhappy with the first half. They played quite well. Just a couple of lapses towards the end of that first half let Wyong back into the game. It'll be interesting to see how long Mitch A. Church stays off for. I think he was outstanding for the entrance of the first half. He he was just running straight through him up, up the middle. If I was um, Shane Wooden, I'd be getting him on quick smart, I think. The ball's been put down, has it? One-on-one -on -one rake. He's one called, on one. called knock on the so entrance. It'll be a scrum feed to the ruse. They from what I've seen of the Tigers this season, they're pretty rigid on their front row rotation. It's usually 20-odd minutes and the two starting front rowers head off and then with 20 minutes to go, they head back on for their second stint. So, as you said, Chris, Mitch A. Church was outstanding in that opening 20. Coach Wooden might look to get him on a bit earlier than that today, I reckon. Sharp. Brought down on his own 30 on tackle one. Comes to Lottie. Lottie gets the offload away. Goes to Shaw oh, and on. a little knock on there from Wyatt Shaw. Jack Lottie looking for the offload. Shaw unable to hold it. I think they're looking for that one. Coach Clark, I think he would have wanted him to tuck it under. Try and get back in the arm wrestle. From the looks of things, Chris, that looks like it might have been Jack Lottie's first try on the season. So he's avoided the nudie run on grand final day. Hold under the big man. Outstanding. I think if they won, he'll probably do If, if they win, he'll probably do it anyway. <laughs> well, the Tigers have a chance here. Tackle one, 30 metres out from the Wyong line. They trail 12 points to six after leading for a fair chunk of that first half. Fisk will play it. Killick goes to Tonga. Tonga to Nelson. Nelson holds on to it. He had Harley Ridge in half a hole. Tonga out of dummy half. He's wrestled to the ground there by Dolble. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with McGuinness on the bench. wonder what he's going to come on as. Comes to McCudden. McCudden steps off the right. Pokes his nose through. He had Grant Nelson in support. Couldn't get the arm free. Comes to Pearsall now on the last. Pearsall with a kick in behind. Looking for Tonga. Mantelado comes across. Mantelado, can he get back into the field of play? No, he can't. It's a great kick there. Pearsall. 
Will, building pressure. Will Pearsall gets the next best result for the Tigers. Goal line drop out. 12 points to six, they trail. Zane Ricketts, mum and brother tuning in from Gladstone up in Queensland. I've got family up in Gladstone. Big cheerio to you guys up there. Watching from London, Nick Andrews. Uh, they're tuning in from all parts of the globe here today as Mantellato absolutely duffs that dropout. It doesn't work out too badly, though. Pretty rare you see him miss kick one. He's filthy on himself, too. I think he might have kicked the ground. Noangatabu back on the angle in behind the ruck. He's finally brought down by Molan. Williams looks like Centrone in on the tackle as well. Doherty. Doherty beats the first, can't beat the second. No markers. They've got some numbers down the Killick out of dummy half. They've still got numbers to the right here, the Tigers. Wyong just getting players there now. Loaded like, the left. Come to Pierce, all the Tonga. Tonga standing in the tackle, can't find support. Last tackle. Comes to the left to Pearsall. Pearsall with a kick in behind. Mantellato comes across. Martin does well to hold on to it. Pearsall trying to force him back in goals, but Kai Martin. Got down well. low. Done well there. Mahons wrestled to the ground by Noangatabu and Fisk. Sharp. Will be forced backwards in that tackle. So the entrance defence stiffening up here. Jack Lottie. Just holds on to it this time. That's tackle four. They're only 18 metres away from their own line. That's a great run. Double into the backfield. Double to Nelson. He goes past Nelson. Nelson is just enough and comes again. Luke Doble with a nice run. Up over halfway. Last tackle. See you, see you out of dummy half. Kicks him behind Matt Nelson. The chases are coming through. Rickett. Horrible bounce of Nelson. Rickett can't keep it in play. A bit of an anti-climax to the end of that set, but for four of those tackles, Chris Warren really struggling to get out of their own end, and then Luke Doble flips the switch and goes 50 metres. He's done that all year, Doble. He's, um, he's a great ball runner. Just finds the space, doesn't he? There's a big don't argue to Matt Fisk. Beautiful left arm fend. Got out of trouble there, Wong. They were camped down their own end. So you see, you got a good kick in the end of it. This is where they want to be. If they could have got a bounce on the end of that kick. Zane Rickett was flying through, just wouldn't sit up for him. And now it's the Tigers turn to work it away from their own try line. Cutton plays it. Matt Nelson. Wrestled to the ground there by Shaw. Wangatabu. Up towards halfway now, the Tigers. Dowdy will play it. Kill it to Pearsall. Pearsall kicks. It's a great kick. Mantellato comes across, traps it with the feet. Chasers have come down in a nice straight line from the Tigers, and Mantellato will be tackled 12 metres away from his own line. It's a great kick chase here. Mr. Martin up over his own 20 on tackle two. See you, see you to Centrone. Four in on that tackle on Chris Centrone. Molan. Charge there from Brock Mullen. Great run there. Williams out of dummy half, looking for a hole. Williams half through, gets the offload away to CUC. CUC! Can he put the foot down? A great tackle from LeBrock. He got just enough of him. And a penalty and 10 in the bin. Well, well, well. Brand Nelson. 10 in the bin. Looked to be one, one on one, but I think the tackle is complete. I think that's what he's called. And danger 
signs here for the Tigers. They're down to 12 men. So Luke Sharp from Duty. I got around that ruck. Terence CC pushing up on the ball. It's dangerous footy when Wong start rolling like that. Yeah, it was Sharp who got out of dummy half, not Williams. And he, as he said, he is quick over the ground. And I thought he'd miss the opportunity for the offload. He got it away to CUC, and then CUC showed some good pace as well. Nelson and the Brock coming across. And Grant Nelson goes to the bin for a strip. Referee Jeff Harder seeing that as a professional foul. And now Josh Mantellato with a chance to add two points to the total. This will take them out to an eight-point lead. And the Tigers down to 12 men for the next 10 minutes. Well, the grand final hinges on this next 10 minutes, Chris. Tigers yep. have to limit the damage. They would have been tempted to um, play at them with only 12 men, but, you know, in that situation, the grand final, I think you have to take the two. Kick was successful from Josh Mantellato. He's three from three on the day. 14 points to six now. The Roos lead. And they'll play the next probably nine, eight and a half minutes against 12 men. They could really blow this grand final wide open here while the entrance are going to have to be brave. They're going to have to slow it down, the entrance, I think. Find touch when they can. Slow down the tempo. Killick gets us underway, goes down to Sharp, finds Lottie. Lottie is met by a wall of Tigers defenders. He's still going, Jack Lottie, still driving the legs. He's finally brought down 20 metres away from his own line on tackle one. Oh, he's dropped it. Oh, and he's put it down, Jack Lottie. And that is just what the doctor ordered for the Tigers. That's a big play there. Wong would have really wanted to starve entrance for the ball. Just put all the pressure on him. Make him defend him with one man down. Let him off the hook there. Interesting to see how the entrance play this. We've got no fullback. I wonder who's going to jump into fullback. If the entrance can post points here with Grant Nelson in the sim bin. They will take a massive amount of confidence from that for the rest of this game. They need to build some pressure. Kill it to Fisk. That's, that's right, Chris. If they can't post points, they need to force that repeat set. Chew some of that clock up with Grant Nelson in the bin. Langatabu, slow play the ball. Kill it. Comes Adam, to Pearsall. Adam McGuinness has come on the field. Guinness is out there in the 19. Corrigan will play it five metres away. He, he might be playing that fullback role, I think. Comes to Pearsall to McInnes. First touch of the day. Gets the offload away, McInnes. Comes to Tonga. Tonga to LeBrock. LeBrock's wrestled to the ground by Kai Martin. Last tackle here for the Tigers. Comes to Pearsall. Pearsall puts it on the toe. It'll be six again, says the referee. They've got the numbers. They've got numbers out there on the right hand side. McCutton oh. goes through. McCutton wow. scores a try. Huge. Jacob McCutton out of nowhere scores a try for the Tigers. And they're right back in this grand final. 14 points to 10 with a kick to come. Wow, what a play there by McCutton. I think he, he, I think he might have got rep player of the year earlier in the week. I think he under 23 is player of the year. Uh, Central Coast. The Wyong players seem to stop after the kick. Jacob McCudden beating Zane Rickett and then carrying Brock Molan and Luke Sharp across the line, showing great determination. I don't think Killy's going to be in any rush here to take the kick, really wind down that clock. What a, what a boost for the Tigers. Only minutes ago seeing Grant Nelson sent to the sin bin. They've now gone down the other end of the field and scored points themselves. Still 27 minutes left in this grand final. 
And they trail 14 points to 10. Yeah, Wong won't be happy with that one, I don't think. Uh, a big opportunity to starve em entrance with the ball. They've let him right back into the game here. Conversion attempt successful. Looks like McGuinness is going back to fullback. It'll be Josh Mantellato to get us underway. And he kicks high. Coming across to Harley Ridge, who takes it on the full. Must complete this one here. Entrance. Oh, that'll help. Penalty against Wyong inside the 10. Nice little piggyback here for the Tigers. Slowing it up. It's five minutes since he went to the sim bin. I think Wong about it for two tackles. And when Lottie threw that offload, I think that's the only time they had the ball, wasn't it? Yeah, they haven't seen the ball since the sin binning. Shades of Friday night, really. Still haunting you, mate? Uh, that'll haunt me all, see, all off season, that one. Nevertheless, the Tigers go on the attack. 12 against 13. Fisk on the charge. You wouldn't know they've got 12 on the field, would you? They've dominated the last five or so minutes as it comes to McInnes. Pierce all out the back. He gets away from Sharp. Trying to run behind his own player there. Gets away with one there, Pearsall. McInnes again. A few good touches there from McInnes as soon as he's gotten on. Langatabu out the back to Tonga. Tonga back to Ridge. Williams missed the tackle. Ridge on the charge. So they've got numbers on the right. Killick will go that way to Pearsall. Pearsall puts it on the deck. Sits up nicely over there for the winger. Centrone does well. Wyong survive. Pretty good result still there for the entrance. So need to play it down this end. Giving it back to the Ruse. A meter out from their own line. Now it's Wyong. who have to do the hard yards. That one looked to have slipped up a bit high. Referee says play on. Lewis plays it. Comes to Dolwell. Last tackle here for the Ruse. See you, see you in a dummy half. Goes to Sharp. Sharp. They look to run it here through Rickett. Rickett will kick. Nelson had to come up. Rickett's after it. LeBrock is back there. Sharp's on the chase as well. He beats Sharp. Can't beat Rickett. Rickett looking for the one on one strip. Now a chance for Weil. To press that defensive line. Really force the Tigers to do the hard yards out of their own end. A few from Tyre and the Tigers, boys. Only just getting back. Matt Nelson will play it on tackle three on his own 20. Noangatabu puts the hand up for a run. Good return for the front row of this season. 12 tries on the season for Tim Noangatabu. Uh, I don't mind a little set play with him at the line, the entrance. Surprised you haven't seen it yet, actually. Killick gets out of dummy half, looking for a 40-20. Mantellato, well positioned, and he charges back at the line, Josh Mantellato. Well, this is the best starting field position they've had against the 12 men of the Tigers. Centrone's wrapped up there by McInnes. Grant Nelson, another two minutes. This will be a big, big chance for Wong. Williams, in a horribly slow play the ball. Goes to Mullen. Molan will get a quicker one away than the previous. As Williams out of dummy half, goes across field. And that's a good Great shot defense. there from Harley Ridge. Although he gets the offload away, Lewis. Mahon now. 25 away, last tackle here for the Ruse. Williams out of dummy half, goes back down the short side, finds Dolble. Dolble cops a high shot there from McInnes. McInnes flung out the arm and a big chance here. The referee's going to tell Williams to come back, looking for the quick tap. Big chance here as we see Grant Nelson come back to the sidelines. Minute to go. Need to hold him out here, one set. 
taking their time here while as time is blowing off. And this could make or break this grand final, this one set of six. If Wyong can post points, re-establish that eight-point lead. And a long way to winning this one. If the Tigers can hold out and not concede points with 12 men on the field, I'll take a lot of confidence from that. Wouldn't be surprised if entrants give a few deliberate penalties away. Get Nelson back onto the field, really slow it down. So you see time off again here as, as an entrance player down receiving some treatment on the try line. Sione Tonga, I think. Big set of six coming up here for the Roos. 14 points to 12, they lead. Tani Mahon with the first carry. Will be brought down eight away as Grant Nelson gets the okay to come back on. They've loaded up their left side, Wong. They go left now. Sharp, short ball to White Shaw. Sharp again, sharp for the line. They repel him this time. Williams gets the dummy half. Grant Nelson's back out there. Comes to see you, see you, see you, see you through the line. Gets brought down. And Luke Chen, I think it was. Williams. Kessler, Kessler for the line, he's only metres away. The entrance under all sorts of pressure. Kick him behind, Nwangatabu's there to clean it up. Can he get back? No, he can't. That's a great tackle on the big man. Great tackle. Brock Mullen. He's done well to be back there, actually, the big fella. I'll tell, you, that up. I'll tell you what, Chris, when he got it, I thought he'll get back here. It'd be tough to stop him getting back into the field of play, but Brock Mullen, one-on-one, -on -one, brings him down. The entrance survive. 10 minutes. Down to 12 men without conceding a point. That could be big in the scope of things. They won that 10 minute period 4 0. 6 0, sorry. Kill it with the conversion. 20 minutes to go here. I wouldn't, wouldn't be waiting too much longer to get A Church back on. Well, Noanga Tabu's just come from the field. His job is done for the day. Looks like Noah Easton. Come on. There's the dropout from Pearsall. Comes to Lewis. Lewis will be brought down. 28 away on tackle one. Big chance here for the Ruse. Goes to Sharp. Sharp with the face ball to Rickett. Rickett will be brought down. 18 away. Hugged up against that left touch line. Goes to Sharp. Sharp to Kessler. Kessler only knows one way, and that's forward. We'll play at 15 away, centre field. Comes to Molan. Molan to see you, see you, see you, see you. Dolbel on the angle. Dolbel gets the offload away to Minolato. Tripped up, still going. Oh, the forward. referee's found a forward pass in there somewhere. Must have been the ball from Dolbel to Mantelato. You see the replay. Molan across field. See you, see you. Back on the angle to Dolbel. Dolbel with a pass to Mandelato, and that's the pass the referee has said has gone forward. And then off the hook there, the entrance. They look dangerous there. The ruse. The entrance win the scrum feed. They'll be made to play it 10 out from their own line on tackle one. Survive the Tigers. They trail 14 points to 12 as Corrigan's away. Corrigan ankle tap there by Wyatt Shaw. Desperate, run. desperate lunge from Shaw. Matt, Matt Nelson now. A Church has just come back on. The two starting front rowers back out there. Noah Easton takes the run. A Church is poised for the next. There he is, the big number 10. Great meters there. We'll play it 35 away from Wyong's line. It comes to Pearsall. Kicks high. Chase is coming through. Martin does well. He's Great hit take. almost instantly there by Grant Nelson, but Kai Martin standing firm. Great take there. Had the pressure. Nelson is always going to just wait for him to catch it. 
hitting him down in his own 10. Centrone runs straight at A-Church. I could think of better people to be running out than Mitch A-Church, but he does well, Centrone. He's a giant. Williams out of dummy half. He pinches another 10, make that 12, make that 15. Nice run there from Mitch Williams. Starting to come alive there. I think he's going to, him and Sharp up the middle. Kessler straight at Killick, who takes him ball and all. Last tackle comes to CUCU. CU. He kicks long, straight down the throat of LeBrock. Haven't seen much of Perry LeBrock today. It's been a, a game played predominantly in that middle third of the field. Comes to Harley Ridge. Ridge will play it. 20 shy of halfway. Florimo now. Florimo looking for the offload. Getting a few boos there, I think, Florimo from the crowd. He's uh, a popular man, Jay Florimo, with the other clubs on the coast. Already he's just made the um, the US Nines team to play at Bank West later in the year. Oh, lovely. Well done to Jay Florimo on that. That'll be an experience for sure. I think he's got Australia, New Zealand and Papua New Guinea in his pool, so... It's a tough ask, isn't it? As the kick goes down to Martin, he didn't look as comfortable under that one, Martin, but he did well. He gets away from McInnes. Straightens up now, Martin. Good return there from Kai Martin. He's been good in this second half, Chris. Yeah, that was another great take, great run. Here's another man that's been good in this second half, Luke Doble. He gets up to the 40, tackle two. Just going set for set here. No drops, just completing their sets. Who will break first? Tani Mahon plays it, goes to Lewis on the charge. Jake Lewis, he's been outstanding for the Ruse. He's gone forward all day. O'Mealy's front rower. O'Mealy's back out there for Wyong. He'll play it on the last. Comes to Sharp. Sharp kicks high. Florimo putting the kick pressure on Mantellato coming through. Mantellato puts it down. He had a clean shot at it, Josh Mantellato. Just mistimed his jump a little bit. No advantage. He'll bring it out in the 10. It'll be a changeover of possession 10 metres out from the Tigers' line. 15 minutes to go here. The 2019 Tui's Cup Grand Final. Wyong 14 leading the entrance 12. Wyong the minor premiers. It's good defence there. The entrance, the, de the defending premiers. Can they find... Another gear, the Tigers. They're going to have to. A-Church. A-Church on the charge. Picks up 15. Oh, no markers. They're going to have to go. Killick out of dummy half. He just doesn't have the angle. Looking for the foil. He gets a good bounce. Mantellato eventually gets across there. Oh, oh there he's put it, it down. Josh Mantellato spills his beans with nobody near him. And the door is ajar now for the Tigers. Big error from the fullback. He's been outstanding all year. 228 points on the season. That's some effort. You, don't, you rarely see that, errors like that from him. He'll be filthy on himself, Josh Mantellato. They've given him a sniff here, the entrance. A-Church, as soon as he's come back on, he's just gone forward. He's... Um, they're going to be hard to stop the entrance, I think. They're coming, they're coming hard. 14 points to 12. The Ruse lead a full set of six inside the 30 here for the Tigers as Florimo goes to Pearsall to Grant Nelson. Nelson and Matt Nelson, was that touched? Oh, it was touched. Centrone dives on it. The referee says knock on there from the Ruse. They've really let the game flow too, the referees and the touchies. Put the whistle away and they've um it's been a great game of footy you know they've done a good job when you haven't been talking about them much and they've exactly been almost it. anonymous out there today besides the the sin binning of grant nelson which looked like it deserved the sin binning as mckinnis goes across field another chance here for the tigers 12 minutes and change left in this one chant now Looks like they're setting up to their right, the entrance. They've got plenty of numbers over there on the right-hand side. Wong don't have that many. We've got A-Church up the middle. I don't know what he's doing there. 
Having a rest. They go that way to Pearsall. Pearsall back on the angle. Grant Nelson looking to make amends for that error at the end of the first half. He's wrapped up only metres away. O'Mealy in on the tackle. Killick. The ball hits the deck. Comes to McCudden. Already scored one try today, Jacob McCudden. He's only a metre away. Big chance for the Tigers. Pearsall back inside to Killick. Killick beats Molan. Straightens up. This will be the last tackle. Can Wyong hold on? Florimo in a dummy half. Comes to Pearsall. Pearsall gets the kick across field. Martin's misread it. Perry LeBron. The ball beats him to the dead ball line. The entrance go within a whisker of hitting the lead. Kai Martin breathes a sigh of relief. Dolble with the quick restart. The old bounce of the ball got him there. Thought it was bending around to LeBrock. Perry LeBrock, his eyes lit up. He thought he was about to score the match winner. Instead, it'll be a seven tackle set here for Wong, and don't they need it? They need to get down the other end of the ruse. Rickett will play it right on halfway. Make sure if you're tuning in on Bar TV, don't go anywhere. We're down to the final 11 minutes of this grand final. Let us know who you're cheering for and where you're cheering from. Let us know who you think might have been man of the match today. Chris, you're on man of the match duties for the Ainsworth man of the match. Yeah, well, A Church has been great for the entrance. Um, I think Sharp's come come to life for a while. He's um, had a hand in that try just before half time. Jake O'Mealy, still going O'Mealy. He's picked up 10 valuable metres there for his side as they come down the short side to see who see who puts the kick in behind. Nelson's across there, he does well there, Nelson. He gets cleaned up by Dolble. Grant Nelson still down after that tackle. It didn't look like there was a lot in it from Dolble. Nelson ducked into it trying to get to the ground. Did well to get low. What a, you know, he's got a little shoulder on the way down, I think. The referee, Jeff Hart, it was Johnny on the spot. He didn't see too much wrong with it. Well, we're exactly where they want to be. to LeBrock who does well to beat the first man Perry LeBrock, he's brought down 5 metres away from his own line, McInnes to Florimo Florimo up to his own 10 but Wong wrap him up it's flung to the ground, O'Mealy on the tackle as well as Shaw Achurch now looking to get the Tigers on the front foot Mitch Achurch still run. going Mitch Achurch, O'Mealy monkey jumping him carrying Jake O'Mealy with him huge run from Mitch Achurch Killing him through the middle. Harley Ridge now. He's only five shy of halfway. Last tackle comes to Pearsall. Pearsall kicks long down towards Mantellato. He fields this one. Comes back to the line. He bumps off Noah Eastern and he's brought down 25 away. Nine minutes to go here. We're going to come down to the wire. Centrone. Up towards his own 40. 14 12 the score. Looked to be a little knock on. There was. Chris Centrone. Error in the play of the ball. That's the mistake they've been waiting for. And the Tigers will get another opportunity at the Wyong line. Wyong have been so disciplined all day. In the last five minutes, they're really giving the entrance a look in. There's some tired boys out there. Mitch A. Church, as soon as he's come back on, he's just... He's a monster. They're struggling to stop him. The Tigers chant goes up. They can sense it's coming down to the wire here at Woi Woi Oval. Out the back to Nelson. Beats the first man. He's brought down 35 away, Grant Nelson. Mahon in on the tackle. McInnes in a dummy half to Florimo. Florimo standing in the tackle. They get numbers there, the ruse. Tackle to McInnes. Dummies to A-Church, goes to Pearsall, Pearsall, finds McCudden, McCudden, Mantellano, Mantellano does just enough. 
Great tackle. They've got numbers down the short side. They go that way. Grant Nelson to Matt Nelson. Matt Nelson scores a try. Matt Nelson scores out wide. And the entrance take the lead. 16 points to 14 with a kick to come. Eight minutes to go, Chris. He's made up for it there, Grant Nelson, getting getting 10 in the bin. That was a great ball to his brother. And you could see from up here in the stands, they had the numbers down the short side. Pearce to Grant Nelson and a lovely cutout pass to his brother, Matt, who juggled it. Great take. Rickett got his hand in there. Nearly got a touch. I think he was blindsided a bit, so he's done well to catch that and finish it off. And the defending premiers are in front with seven to go. The last two times these teams have played, it's been Wyong running out fairly convincing winners. The entrance, smarting after that major semi-final defeat, came out and put on a clinic against the Erina Eagles. Would have given them a lot of confidence coming into this week's game. And they've hit the front here. Matt Nelson will attempt the conversion. He'll be in no rush to kick this one. Wyong, to go away. Wyong have six minutes to save the season. Who are you looking to, Chris, for Wyong? Who's the, the game opener? We know Sharp's been good. I think it's Mitchie Williams, CECU and Sharp. Just got to be pushing. Big boys have got to get some quick play the balls and they've just got to go. Do you go short from the kickoff or do you kick it deep and, and try and force that error? I think they'll go deep. They'll back their defence. Nelson, that kick is waved away. Conversion unsuccessful from Matt Nelson. Scoreline is 16 points to 14. The Tigers leading the ruse. Under six minutes to go here at Woiwoi Oval. Mantellato to kick off. They go short. It's not that short. It goes down to Florimo who takes it well. It was just a little bit too deep there from Mantellato. I think the wind... Probably didn't help him. Must complete here, the entrance. Matt Nelson out of dummy half, and he gets absolutely hammered by Jake Lewis. Florimo again out of dummy half. Matt Nelson crumbles back down to the ground after that hit. So he should. He didn't miss him. When you get hit like that by a front rower, you go back to your wing. Noah Easton now up over halfway. I think they might be looking for touch there at the end of this set. They're going to have to do it the hard way, the ruse. The entrance giving them nothing so far. It's a great set of six after points. Doherty play it on the last. Comes to McInnes. McInnes looks for touch. Out on the full. Out on the full from Adam McInnes. Not what they wanted. Well... Chance now for Wyong at the end of this set of six. They'll be in position to put up an attacking kick. Four minutes to go. It's coming down to the wire. Season 2019 has four minutes left in it. The two top teams separated by two points. Sharp will play it inside Tigers territory on tackle two. See you, see you, goes to Rickett. Rickett with a fend on Corrigan gets away from him, but... The cavalry comes across. They've shut him down well, Rickett. He killed him in that last game. They've really done their homework on him. Comes to CUCU. 16, Dylan Clark. A church comes across to finish him off. Didn't miss him there. CUCU. Cross field. Goes to Mantellato. Now to Dolble. Dolble off the right foot. He's brought down. 18 away. Last tackle. They need a result here, the Ruse. See you, see you. Steps off the right, puts a kick in, and Grant Nelson is there. He cleans this one up, no problems. Read that well, Nelson. Under three minutes to go now. Wyong desperate for an error. The Tigers are bunched up behind to play the ball. It's a great run, Harley Ridge. Harley Ridge picks up 12 metres. Just what his team needed. Florimo now goes to Matt Nelson. Nelson's brought down, 15 shy of halfway. Florimo looks like he's playing dummy half. He's in there at the moment, isn't he? 
Goes to Doherty, who's tackled centre field. Last, Last tackle. tackle. He'll kick out a dummy half. It's been charged down. It'll be play on. Ricketts there. Nelson, did he knock it on? Six again. Whoa. The referees awarded six again. The Wyong faithful are filthy on that decision. Big call. It looked like Matt Nelson might have knocked on as well. It'll be play on. Three minutes to go. Down to two minutes now. Noah Easton on the charge. Wyong will probably get one more set of six. The Tigers looking to go back to back. Wyong having lost the last two grand finals. The Chance Tigers come. chant goes up. Doherty up to halfway. A church out of dummy half on the last. Mitch A church. A church is true. He's got Pearson in support. Sharp comes. Sharp with the tackle. Wow. With the try saver. The big fella. That was nearly the ball game. Pretty good result anyway. Who would have thought Mitch A. Church would be in a dummy half on the last? I don't think he knew it was last. Comes to Centrone. They're going to have to go 90 metres. This will be the last chance here for the Ruse. Williams goes to Shaw. They look out in their feet, Wild. They'd love a penalty. Shaw will play it. Clark. He's put it on the deck, Clark. That might be enough for the Tigers. We're into the final minute. Wow. The Wyong heads drop. And the entrance Tigers, with 40-odd seconds left on the clock, as long as they can win the scrum and get through this set, will go back-to-back. -back. Huge effort from the Tigers. What about the turnaround from that sin bin? You thought they were gone. They just... They've dug in deep. They've completed all their sets. A churches has been unbelievable since he come back on. Is he your Ainsworth man of the match? Oh, 100%, mate. Mitch A Church, congratulations. He's been outstanding. Ainsworth man of the match for Bar TV Sports. Wild looking to put a push on in the scrum. The entrance come up with it. Matt Nelson, they've just got to hold on to the ball here, the Tigers. 30 seconds to go. We'll be looking for that one on one rake. And the entrance are going to let him have it. McInnes, O'Mealy puts a shot on, looking to force the error. Under 20 seconds to go now. The Tigers are going to do it. Back to back grand finals. The chant goes up. Doherty takes it to the line. Wow. And after the major semi final, where Wyong ran out big winners, the entrance have bounced back. To repeat of last year. The full time there siren goes. The Tigers rejoice. The Tigers have done it. The entrance Tigers, 16, defeat the Wyong Roos, 14, as the fans run onto the field. And what a game of football, Chris. What a game. How have they come back from that? First grade and second grade, two years in a row. It's a big the, effort. The turning point in the game, what we thought would be for Wyong, Grant Nelson going to the Simbin, the entrance just grew another leg. They actually scored in that period of time through Jacob McCudden. And in the end, Matt Nelson crosses in the far corner to win the game for the Tigers, 16 points to 14. What a grand final that was, eh? Grant Nelson, he got, he got Simbin, but he come back on. He was a big difference. Set up that try for his brother. He was safe at the back, read everything. He had a great game. Let's run through the tail of the tape. It was Grant Nelson who opened the scoring. And it was Jack Lottie who leveled things up. Luke Sharp crossed right on half time. He made it 14 points to six, uh, 12 points to six, sorry, at half time. And in the second half, Jacob McCudden with the Tigers down to 12, scores a try. And then Matt Nelson with the game winner in the far corner. The Wyong boys can't believe it. That's three in a row now for the Ruse that they've lost. That's yeah, that, they're going to be hurting, I think. I think after he got 10 in the bin, looking back, maybe they should have tapped it and gone for the try. Sometimes it can be a negative outlook when you're going for the two points. And from that, they dropped the ball two tackles in and hardly touched it again in that 10-minute period. 
Ecstasy for the Tigers and their supporters. They go back to back 2018 and 2019 Premiers. Mitch Hayden in for a couple of days, eh? Back to the Entrance Leagues Club. First and Reserves getting up. Big thank you to Chris Hyde for joining me in commentary today. Cheers for having me, mate. It's Thanks been awesome. For the expert analysis. Big thank you to the Bar TV crew as well for season 2019. Central Coast Rugby League Tui's Cup will be lifted by the entrance Tigers. I'm Dan McCamley signing off for season 2019. See you again in season 2020.